Hi, welcome to the third video in the Screencast-O-Matic series. In the first video, I discuss screencasting and its value to instructors and students. In this video, I'll build on that discussion and show you how I have used the technology in my classroom. I'm a problem solver. It's one of the main reasons I enjoy teaching first-year writing students. Finding ways to help them develop their writing skills calls for problem solving. One problem I struggle to solve is student engagement. How can I get them to engage more with me and with their peers over the class content? To begin with, I identified that if I wanted to engage more with students, I needed to spend more time with them, one-on-one -on -one or in smaller groups. The whole class was not the best setup for interaction. But how could I do this? How could I make time? Teaching both the course theme and the writing instruction meant my class time was full to the brim. I needed a digital tool that could open up some space for other activities with my students. In the last third of the semester, the class focuses on revising portfolio essays. The content of the course has been covered, and all students need to do is revise. While it sounds simple, this revision section of the course always proves challenging to teach. Making students accountable for their revisions, as well as their peer reviews, is difficult when class is taken up with instruction in how to revise the essay. My solution was to create screencasts for the essay instructions, then use my class time to meet with students in small groups to review their essays and peer reviews. Let's watch a portion of one of my screencasts so you can get a feel for it. Hello, this is the first of two movies that will guide you through the revision process for the Life in the Digital Age essay. This one concerns itself with your introduction. The second one focuses on the body and the conclusion of the essay. You will want to work your way through these movies prior to your group meeting in order to get as much out of the meeting as possible. If you find yourself struggling too much, ask for help. Contact me, speak to a peer, visit the Writing Center right away. It is too late in the semester for you to wait if you need assistance, so don't be shy. You wouldn't want to do poorly because you were afraid to ask for help. In the first paragraph, the reader wants to know and understand your topic. This means you don't need to spend time throat clearing before you introduce the topic. Throat clearing in speech, where someone goes, <clears throat> it's not what listeners want to hear. The same is true of your readers. They want you to start right in and discuss your topic. I like to re recommend that you use your topic as the first words in your essay. By doing so, you alert your reader right away to your topic and you tell them that you're going to get right to it. Students were responsible for this material when we meet in groups each week, just as they would be for any other homework assignment. To reinforce the screencast's importance, I critique their essays based on the information in the screencasts. Further, peers reviewed one another's essays based on the information in the screencasts. Everything we did in group meetings was predicated on the information contained in the screencast. It was easy to see which students watched the videos and which ones did not. It was apparent in their essays and peer reviews. I conducted class this way for three weeks and frequently heard from students how valuable the videos and group meetings were. Many remarked that their writing had never received so much attention from their peers and their instructor. I'm sure for some, it was too much attention. Nevertheless, student engagement over those three weeks was very high in both peer-to-peer -peer and peer-to-instructor interactions. The experience of those weeks has inspired me to use screencasts earlier in the coming semester. 
I intend to use screencasts as a way to introduce students to each week's class content and writing activities. Again, this will help free up my class time to work more directly with students' writing. I've only started learning about screencasting and Screencast-O-Matic. I'm sure once you get started, you'll be able to teach me a thing or two about the app. I'll look forward to that day. Until then...